One of the exciting things to do with kids is to really put together the pilgrims and the Mayflower. And I have a way that you can make these right in your house. And it's just out of butternut squash and a big uh, winter squash. I like this, using so, our produce. That's right. We're using all different sizes of uh, butternut squash. We have the Indian over here. And I just uh, was able to go to their craft store and get a braid already braided and put some feathers in the back. And then we'll take this little bandana and I'm going to put you some... You want me to hold it? We'll put some glue back here. So we're using a glue gun, but um, you could also probably use tape. And then we'll just put the little bandana on and put that here in the back. Did I get it on right? Yep. Covering Perfect. inside those. There we go. Perfect. So here there we go. There we have our little That's Indian. Our Indian. You could also put a necklace on with little uh, paint. Uh, the the little, you tell them about the, uh, the man. This is the dad, and he is all dressed like a pilgrim. And then we'll just put a little hat little on. A little hat on him. And we have the little, the little sun. sun. Here's his collar right and there. By we'll put the collar on. We just basically uh, cut it out of white felt and black felt, the belts and the collars. So. Uh, and then we painted the faces on. Yes. And we'll put a little hat on him. We have a little him. hat for him. And then it's a mom. Cute hat. You can there. tell them all about mom. Okay. Here's mom. She has her her little collar's more complete, and she's got an apron and a hat. And she's and all look set. at this cute hair. Yes. That's adorable. <laughs> so then to make the boat, you can use your uh, pumpkin carving tools. We showed you those uh, in October, or you can use a heavy knife to do this. But yes. I basically am taking the little squash out, and then we've made cells. And you can do this with just dowel sticks. And you have, there's the biggest cell. And that's just a piece of paper, three of them. Mm -hmm. And then decorated those with a little flag at the top. And that goes right in the middle. And then we'll take this one and put it in the front. And we have another one to go in the back. And kids will so love. My nieces and nephews brought my book to me and said, could we make this for Thanksgiving? And they <laughs> oh. were about seven and eight. You really want to make this fun is put a little bit of dry ice in there. And we the have dry our ice pilgrims. Queen. <laughs> Maybe I'll give you the, the Indian you put over there. Okay. Let's and do we're that. ready to put, uh, always if you're using dry ice, use a glove. And uh, adults should be in the room all the time with now, the rice. Now, before you put that in, I remember seeing in your book that you had this set up with vegetables in you it. Certainly so you could, could do that too then. So this would make a great centerpiece for Thanksgiving. I'm going to go ahead. Uh, we don't have a... Look we'll at this. make this look like it's uh, going to be on the seas with a little bit of stormy weather. <laughs> Here it is moving. And we're all set. So we'll turn that so that see. we get that out the front. And so the whether you decide to put uh, vegetables in there or you decide to put a little dry ice, you'll have a ball doing that. And one thing that I, we forgot to tell you while we're doing this is you can draw little windows here. And I just barely put those in so I'd know exactly what to draw. And uh, that's just magic marker or the kids can even decorate that more. So yeah, there we, we have, have our ship. Use paints too. That's right. Love it. Love it. So That's great. And we can pilgrims. put them all back. Okay, great. Thanks, Diane. Thank you.